Alright, back for round 2 on the draw. Hand is good. Hopefully we don't draw too many more lands, but it seems solid. An Earthed... An Tethered, actually. And every time I read that I think about an Unearthed. An Unearthed? An I don't know, but it's Untethered. An untethered. I don't even know what this means. Puzzle not. Interesting. Alright. This could be some type of um, improvised deck where they want cheap artifacts. Because the puzzle knot is kind of bad otherwise, I think. Let's see what they did with their scry. They put both cards on top, alright. And it's gonna be a blue white mirror. Interesting. I don't like that card, I don't think it's good. I think playing this is pretty much like mulliganing. Uh, it's my, it's just my, it's just what I'm thinking though. I might be wrong. It did not impress me during Kaladesh though, and I doubt it's gonna impress me. I doubt it's gonna impress me, it's gonna be impressing me a lot for... I, 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 I'm <laughs> good lord. What I'm trying to say is that I don't think it got better with is a revolt. Might be wrong though. I might be completely off with this analysis. Padim. Padim is problematic. Padim is really annoying. Um, and using Coat in the Bright will not help. Though I guess it will help next turn once we can attack with a vehicle, but they will get to draw one card which I don't like. Yep. Since I'm not attacking with a servo, they, they, they can probably just block. This card is so strong that I would not block though. No, actually never mind, they are not gonna be drawing card because I, I will have the highest converted mana cost. So hopefully we can get rid of Padim before it draws any card. Yeah, I forgot about the fact that I w would have an artifact myself. So that's kinda cool. Hopefully they don't have a uh, removal for the Express, this way we can get rid of Padim and get a decent amount of value. Alright, my opponent has a ton of mana available. Um, pretty sure we should still go with the line I mentioned. <coughs> not, not, not exactly sure about what will happen. Potentially some bad things, but they could also just not have anything, though I doubt it. If we get to attack, it's really cool though. Yeah, nice. So we can remove the Padim. I'm, I'm happy enough with that. Even if they have some type of trick or if something is happening, fine. But removing the Padim is really important. And my opponent just might have nothing, I guess. Looks like they have nothing. Huh. I'm gonna play the Infiltrator. This is bad if they have Fumigate, but I wanna be applying pressure. And my uh, Express is gonna... You know, it's going to be a creature again. I mean, an, it's not going to be a creature anymore after this turn, so it's not the worst blowout. And I don't really want to give my up in time right here. And they don't have the second white for Fumigate, and you know, it's a rare of uh, a set that there's only one booster off. Uh, sometime playing around it might make sense. Here, I think you want to drop the... Um, pretty sure you want to drop the 3-1, the though and put as much pressure as possible. Might be wrong, might be wrong. But <clears throat> playing around the rare, we did not see yet. And again, there's even less likely that they have it because there's only one Kaladesh booster seems like not the best option. All right, everything went well. I was pretty sure that there was some disaster, disaster that would come. Or, you know, something like maybe just bounce the Express and draw a card, which would have been good for them. But things worked out pretty well. So blue-white, probably a bit more controlly than we are. Aerial modification, not very good against blue-white, I don't think so. Uh, they showed the puzzle knot, that doesn't mean they have a ton of artifact. I could see counters being good, but there's the you know double blue issue. I don't think I want to change anything. 
given what I saw. I did not see match though. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna keep the same amazing main deck. And we'll see how it goes. Alright. Some removal and a value card. Seems good. Planes was not a great top deck, but but is not awful either. Oak. Mm hmm My opponent might be more aggressive than I think they are. Interesting. I did not expect Oak from given what they played game one. In my mind Oak does not go in the same deck, but Oh well. If I don't draw anything, I might just drop the recruit as a 2 2. Because triggering revolt means playing another creature, have it trade. It's, 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 if I don't play next, next turn, I'm probably gonna have to wait 3 more turns before I can make it a 3 3. And um, yeah, it just doesn't seem worth it. If I draw a good 2 or 3 drop, I'm gonna play it, but. Okay. I don't mind playing that. Especially if my open goes, um, I mean, if, if they keep the Oak to trade, which they might do because trading 1 for 3 doesn't seem great. Yeah, and now we can get the 3-3, three, three, which is sweet. As they seem to be pretty, uh, pretty much color screwed. Not sure what they did with their scry. They put 2 cards on the bottom. Yeah, my open is looking for some islands, I would assume. Alright, let's get a 3-3 three, three double strike, right? Seems good seems strong. They found they found their blue, which is nice. I mean, I'd rather play uh, a fair game, if I may say so. Windrake. All right. You got yourself a Windrake. It's only my end step, though, which means if I block something during their turn, I'm not going to get uh, another counter. Probably just dro dropping Keeper this way next turn we can potentially go Osprey, Codina Bright. It uses the mana better. Okay, the thing, the thing got iced. Car card is fine, like if you are really lacking Rimvol, why not? It's just like, the issue with this kind of thing is always the same, you have to take a hit and that's always kind of annoying. Infiltrator. Uh, don't really want them to block, actually. So, I'm just gonna beat down here. I mean, if they block, I potentially get value because of you know, it, this thing ability, but I have not a ton of things to do during my turn if I don't use one of my removal. I have two of them so I can afford to use one, and this way I apply a little bit more pressure. I'm more on the side of trying to keep removal for real threat, but here it, you know, it, you know, I have another one in the back, and I get a decent amount of tempo and damage by doing so, so it feels fine. As a train win, okay, that's good. Good for them, bad for me. So I guess we'll just make the same play as last turn. <laughs> Maybe it was right to do it last turn and it's wrong to do it now though. Because now if they drop a 4-4, four, four, I pretty much look like a fool. Or they could have, you know, a Siege Mastered on the 4-5 for five, 5. Yeah, 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 I I'm pretty sure I misplayed here. Uh, doing the the move the first time was right. Doing the move the second white was the second time was wrong. Ah, uh, Davin ban. Yeah, this is bad news. And I'm I keep drawing lands here. Do I want to trade? I don't think it's great for me to do so. Hmm, problem. And the opponent doesn't have lands in hand, so we are probably gonna get card card advantaged out of the game. I thought we were in great shape, but 
don't really think. And if they are attacking here, it's really, really bad news. It means they have a huge flyer to play. Yeah. Yeah, this is really not good. And at this point, I'm probably trading because I know they will drop something that can block. Otherwise, this stack doesn't make sense. Yeah, all right. I'm glad I blocked. Still in trouble because of Dovin ban. Built to last. Yeah, that doesn't really help us. Yeah, I mean, my oven is not generating value, and I don't really care about the ultimate actually. I don't think it's going to be something really important. Uh, I'm more, I'm more, I'm worried about what they have in hand. A whale, yeah, probably losing now. <laughs> a mythic and a bomber air into nine land, probably, probably gonna mean I, uh, probably gonna mean I lose. As a meltdown, yeah, the whale is just gonna kill me though. I mean, it's not like I can get rid of it, right? <laughs> So I have two turns fr in front of me. I'm not sure what I can cut top deck because because of Dovin ban, I'm just not killing my opponent. Whether they use the ability here or whether they gain life, I'm just not gonna kill them. And this is just gonna kill me. <laughs> All right, I was I was almost sure I was gonna win that, but couple lands and a planeswalker leader. It was not the case anymore. Uh, yeah, I guess I might as well drop that. Again, I don't think I care about the ultimate. If my opponent wants to ultimate, fine, great. It's probably good for me, actually. Yeah, I don't see any reason to show them build to last. Puzzle nodding. Bottom, top. So they are drawing something relevant, I would assume. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't think I have any out. Well, I guess a reinvol means it gives me one more turn. And now they gain energy and three life. Yeah, I... Yeah, nah, I guess I can jump block. No, but I don't have any out. I don't have any out. Uh, to the wheel. I need to kill them before this kills me, basically. But whale is whale is GG. Whale is GG. All right. Um. Okay. Kind of on counter spell. They have some really powerful late game stuff. Not sure what I'm cutting for that though. Maybe the technician is not very good. Map did not show many artifact. I think I'm gonna pick this up. Play Disappearing Act. I think actually I like Field Infection more because I'm going to be casting that pretty late on the game anyway. So I'd rather have a loot over bouncing something which could be annoying. Yeah, I'm just going to do that. Uh, maybe actually playing a, another Drake is better to be a bit more aggressive. I'm actually going to cut that for Drake to make sure I have enough beatdown going on. Jeez, yeah, I was sure I, I was winning. Okay, hand has the potential to be quite busted. Like it's already good, and with one more land, this draw could become pretty nightmarish for the opponent because I'm gonna just drop creature that are gonna remove their creature. So that's gonna be aggressive. That's gonna be aggression. <coughs> Glass blower puzzle knot, sure. Described top top. All right, all right, all right. Mm. Hopefully, I start. I stop drawing planes. Oh, my weapon is what? They put on top, so they. Yeah, that's what I thought. You can. You don't miss your land drop if you put stuff on top, right? Let's go, Spider Patrol. The Wind Drake beat down. Card is really nice. Gives you two attack through the opponent blocker. That's that's sweet. That's sweet. No white. 
Mm, okay. If nothing's happened during this combat, I'm probably just dropping the swooper. Something happened. I mean, the the keeper. <laughs> Something happened. Um. Yeah. All right. Then. I think I like dropping Infiltrator and Super more than uh, Treasure Keeper. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what I try to say is that if nothing happens, I play that, but if, if something happened, I might just do something else, and I did something else. Mount's still missing white, though. Probably, luckily for me. I assume it's annoying for them. Maybe I should have sided that decommission, actually. The only artifact I saw, I think, is the Puzzle Knot. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So let's say they have another leave in the dust. I warden that. They leave in the dust the warden. They eat the swooper and take six. Yeah, I can live with that. And this is pretty much the worst case scenario, I think. Yeah, that's still go down to five and I get two um I get a token in the process, so and if they have nothing it's you know it's a blowout. Could see them having a, having a second leave in the dust. Looks like they don't. And since they don't have any white mana, I have no reason to play around any type of wrath, so I can just drop another flyer. And at this point I think it's too late for them. Unfortunately. They they just got stuck on blue mana. But, I don't know. Obviously this is unlucky, but why did they keep two cards on top if they had mana issues, right? Like, if you have mana issues, you should probably try to find your white before you keep stuff on top, no? I don't know. It just felt a little bit weird. Yeah, top, top, why? Why do you, you why do you keep things on top if you I don't know. I don't know. We got lucky but I'm 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 a little bit surprised about how this was used, the first cry. But that was round two. Hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like if it's the case. Thanks for watching. See you for the final.